Now let us see Prim's and Kuskal's algorithm for minimum spanning tree. So what is minimum spanning tree? For this you need to see the previous video whose link is given in the description box. Now let us see first Prim's algorithm to get an minimum spanning tree. Suppose a given graph is G and we are asked to find out the minimum spanning tree using the Prim's algorithm. So to find out the minimum spanning tree we can start from any vertex. So let us say for this graph we will start at vertex A. So in the first step we should find out the edge which start from vertex A and whose weight is minimum. Now if you look at the graph G there are two edges starting from vertex A, A to B and A to D. So both edges are having the same cost 3 and 3. So we can have or we can select any edge A to B or A to D. Suppose I will select the edge A to B whose cost is 3. Now in second step in second step we should select the edge which start from either vertex A or B and whose weight is minimum. Now if you look at the graph from vertex A there is one edge A to D whose cost is 3 and from vertex B there are three edges B to A, B to C and B to E with the three cost 3, 1 and 4. Now among this the minimum cost is 1 with the edge B to C. So we should select the edge B to C. So while adding a edge in the spanning tree we should always remember three things. First one is the resulting spanning tree should be a spanning subgraph that is it should cover all vertices of the given graph G. Second is adding a edge should not create a circuit. No circuit should be formed after adding an edge in the spanning tree and third is when we should stop. So when we get n minus 1 edges where n is number of vertices. So when we get n minus 1 edges we can stop the procedure. So in the second step we have added the edge B to C whose cost is 1. Now in the third step, third step, first of all I will keep the added vertices and edges as it is. So now in the third step we should find out or select the edge which start from either vertex A or B or C and whose weight is minimum. Now if you look at the graph G from the vertex A we have edge with the cost 3. From vertex B we have edges with the cost 3, 1 and 4 and from vertex C we have edges with the cost 1, 1 and 2. So among these the minimum cost is 1. So with the two edges B to C which is already covered and the second edge is C to E. So we can select the edge C to E as adding C to E edge will not create an circuit. So I can add edge C to E whose cost is 1.
now in fourth step first of all i should keep third step tree as it is now in the fourth step i should select the edge which starts from either vertex a b c or e and whose weight is minimum now if you look at the graph from a we have one edge with the cost 3 from b we have one edge left that is b to e whose cost is 4 and from c we have edge c to d left whose cost is 2 and from e we have edges with the cost 4 and 3 so among this the minimum cost is 2 so we can add c to d edge whose cost is 2 now we can see adding c to d edge is not creating a circuit so this is fine now i should check whether n minus edges have been covered or not so in the given graph g i have total 1 2 3 4 5 vertices and how many edges are covered in the fourth step 1 2 3 and 4 so five vertices four edges have been covered so i can stop here so i can check the resulting spanning tree in the fourth step is a spanning subgraph as i have covered all the vertices added edge has not created any circuit so that is also fine the second point and third one n minus one edges are also been covered so here i can stop and i can say now this given tree suppose it is t it's a minimum spanning t that i got using prims algorithm so i can find out the cost of this tree by adding the cost 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 so the minimum cost of this given spanning tree is 7 now let us see the same problem given graph g and we need to find out the minimum spanning tree but now we will find out minimum spanning tree using Kriskal's algorithm now we have seen in case of prims algorithm connectivity should be maintained throughout to get a minimum spanning tree now in Kriskal's algorithm which is very simple compared to the prims algorithm now let us see how it works so in the first step so Kriskal's algorithm we should find out the edge with the minimum cost now if you look at the given graph g so minimum cost is 1 so edges are b to c and c to e so we can select any one edge so let us say i'll select b to c whose cost is 1 so to have a stepwise answer so we should add one edge in each step so in second step now i should find out the next minimum cost edge now if you look at the given graph g so minimum cost edge is 1 and 1 so b to c we have already covered now next edge i should select as c to e so b to c is already covered so next edge is c to e so remember adding an edge should not create an circuit that always you should remember while adding an edge in the spanning tree so now in the third step i should look at the next minimum cost so next minimum cost is 2 so edge is c to d 
so b2c is already covered c2e already covered now next minimum cost stage is c2d so adding c2d is not creating a circuit so i can add c2d edge are the very simple ways you can order the weights of a given graph in increasing order let us say 1 1 2 3 3 3 and 4 these are the weights of the given graph and keep adding every edge with this cost so this first cost 1 is already covered second cost 1 already covered third cost 2 is already covered now next is edge with the cost 3 so in the fourth step let us say I should draw the first already covered spanning tree Now next cost I should cover is 3. So look at the edge with the cost 3. So there are 3 edges A to B, A to D and E to D. So if I select edge E to D and if I add it here E to D, it will create a circuit. So I should skip this E to D edge. So I have left with the two edges A to B, A to D. So any edge you can select. So let us say I will add edge A to D which cost is 3. Now we can see we have 5 vertices and I have covered the 4 edges 1, 2, 3 and 4. So I should stop here. So all vertices of the given graph are covered and I got four edges. So I should stop here. So now I should find out the minimum cost of this spanning tree. So cost is add the cost 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3. So cost is 7. So whether you find out minimum spanning tree using Prim's algorithm or Kruskal's algorithm, at the end you should get minimum cost as same. So if you see for this problem, so minimum cost using Prim's algorithm we got 7 and using Kruskal's algorithm also we got cost as 7.